Hi Bruce from Safari and we're here with Nathan Wilson. Look at this beautiful LC79 here in the front here and he's got a Lotus Caravan on the back here and Nathan how are you today? Not too bad. How are you Bruce? Pretty good. Now you've got one of the most biggest battery packs we put in a van. You've got a thousand amp hours at 12 volts and just tell us what you're thinking. Why have you gone so big? Well they say big is better so um, I guess when you go off grid you want to um, be able to run everything on electric. We've got diesel heater, hot water, um, no gas so we don't want to run out of power, don't want to take a generator and just set sail, you know? Yep, and you've got induction there in the kitchen, microwaves, you've got all electric kitchen. Everything. And you're going to want to run the aircon. So this morning we've just run the aircon for a while there. That's just like killing it, I think. Yep, absolutely, yeah. And you've got a ton of solar up there. So I think we're seeing close to 1,300, 1,400 watts of solar up there. Yep. So that will run the aircon and charge the batteries. That's the idea, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. And when we'll see when the sun comes out and stops raining, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> we really want to get a bit of extra power out of their uh, Lotus. This is a 22 foot unit. And uh, what we've done in this Lotus is uh, really allowed the electrification in the kitchen here, which is the double induction and the microwave, but that could be an air fryer above to all operate and we're going to look now at the solar and we're getting 1285 i was seeing about 13 1400 before off the top so this is on the lotus you'll see we put up here the big seven inch display so look just watch this i stand back here you can clearly see this from the other side of the van um, it's just excellent and then let's just have a look below here i'm going to lift up the seat and there it is all the way along the seat fits beautifully in there we've left the pulled the plumbing out over one end up there uh, 6,000 inverter, we've got five batteries in here, so this has actually got a thousand amp hours at a 12 volt equivalent. The breakers and the fuses are all down the side. Um, and then we've got our other gear, we call it the fruit on the bottom there. You can see that uh, huge uh, link that we've got there on the uh, batteries and the, and the uh, negatives there. So that works out pretty well in this van. Now of course there are days where you won't get that level of solar and on those days you can then just idle up the vehicle and what we have coming in here at 48 volt is 1000 watts on the Kilowasp, 1500 watts on the Scotty 1500 or 3000 watts. The find is big solar needs big backup and uh and that's why we do the dc to dc when's the first trip uh we're going away next weekend so where are you off to off to sandstone point but yeah we d definitely won't plug in the power and water we'll top the water up off the hose if we need to but yeah give it a red hot crack very good thank you thank you nathan i've got to say how good's that eh? how good's that thanks bruce <laughs> thank you